Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We are back to having some fun in the sun for a couple of days. It's been uh, a brutal week. I want to catch you up on all the things that's happened with Kendall. Hannah, you want to say hi? Say hi. How you doing? There you go. Good job. You guys haven't seen Hannah since she officially turned two, but she is two and she's chilled out a little bit. At about 18 months, she was a wild child. She's kind of grown into her her two-year-old age here and um, has calmed down just a teensy little bit. You good? And real quick, let me just say hello to all the newcomers here. So, hey, how you doing? My name is Beeve, my wife Brandy. We got Cameron, Kendall, who you likely know and subscribed to her cancer story, and that was Hannah that you just met there. And we are the Brody Bunch. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. This is just gonna be a quick little update, nothing crazy. I just wanted to kind of bring you guys up to speed with what's been happening this week. A lot has happened in the last week since we got back from the hospital. At the very end of last week's video, you guys saw that we ended up back in the hospital and we've been battling this dehydration thing for many, many days. It took about six days for Kendall to finally get over the hump and we were doing our best to try to keep up with feeds and fluids through her G-tube and we are using Pedialyte. We are doing the feeds in the little bottles that go through her feeding pump, trying to keep some nutrition in her, trying to keep her hydrated. And she just kept throwing up very consistently for several days. Um, and it was the same amount every single time, 700 milliliters. So one night I was like, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get about 400 or 500 milliliters of fluids in her and I'm gonna stop everything and just let it sit overnight and see how if she can get some hydration in her and that sort of thing and then i said you know what she hasn't gone to the bathroom in quite a few days and they gave her some some medication for diarrhea because the chemo would cause diarrhea but then she was also on morphine and as she phased off the morphine she was on oxycodone for pain and sort of transitioned the pain medication both of those will cause constipation so i was like man you know she hasn't gone to the bathroom in quite a few days but she also hasn't eaten anything. She didn't actually eat physical food in like nine days or something like that. So um, I decided to go ahead and give her some Miralax and I loaded up a, one of these big syringes full of Miralax and I pumped it through her G-tube and I let it sit and marinate overnight. And sure enough, next morning she went to the bathroom and things got moving and shaking and flowing. She felt much better. And what was happening was her stomach was filling up and that really, had nowhere to go so it would fill up and then she would purge it all out and uh, it, that's why it was so consistent every time so once we figured that out we were really on the on the road to sort of let's call it recovery and getting her sorted out and feeling much much better she continued to be nauseous here and there and we kept her on the zofrans and things like that we took her off the fenugrim because it just makes her so sleepy so tired we wanted her to move we wanted her to eat we wanted her to try to do things without making her super tired and just sleepy all day so that really, really seemed to help. Look at this girl just chilling. Like, no big deal, huh? How are you feeling, Kendall? Good. You look awesome. You having a good time? Yes. Thumbs up, give me five, pound it. Here you go. You're kicking butt. So even though Kendall's been eating pretty good, we have to continue these feeds. Uh, I wanna try to bulk her up. We wanna try to get a little bit of meat back on her bones, if you will, and get some nutrition back in her body after not eating for so long and that sort of thing. But these are the little bottles of food that she gets. And you know, they go into like, what looks like a little IV bag. I'll show you this whole thing in just a second. But you basically just, you know, you pour these guys in here to what looks like this little, IV bag situation, and it looks like this. So then you take this section of the line, it just hooks up into the machine like this. And then we just have to prime it and it's gonna pump the food through the line up to the tip, get all the air out of it. And I've got it hanging on the back of the pump on this black thing, which I made in the shop 
on the laser. I'm gonna do a whole nother, I'll do a whole nother video about like stuff I've made to make life easier for us. So then Kendall just has to hook this little extension tube up to the button on her belly, um, which she's doing, because she's a rock star. Um, uh, this one's all, harder to do. Yeah. All our names are, all our last names are. Uh, yeah, okay. And then we just hook these together, and the machine will feed her for us. It's amazing. Okay, so what is next? Well, we're actually headed right back up to the hospital in a couple of days to start the next round of immunotherapy. Now that we got it all sorted out, we got Kendall feeling good, she's eating, drinking, keeping it down, back on her feet and doing things, we're going right back up and starting again. I don't think any of us are, are really ready to do that, but there's a couple things I guess that are good. Uh, one, they've got the immunotherapy and the morphine levels, those ratios really sorted out, figured out. They know her tolerances and where to start things. So hopefully she has a lot less pain uh, going through the second time and that sort of thing. She also isn't going to have to be kind of coming out of anesthesia because remember last time she got that line placed and I think that's what started the whole no eating uh, dehydration sort of situation uh, is like having to go under that anesthesia and she couldn't eat after midnight and then she was into chemo and morphine and sleeping for days and days without eating so instead of worrying about all that stuff we're just gonna keep that feeding pump going uh, throughout the whole treatment I think the best of our ability just like a slow trickle keep food in her belly keep her hydrated and try to prevent all of that kind of stuff but if it does creep back up on us we know how to address and deal with that and we'll ensure that she's going to the bathroom and those sorts of things. So that is a bonus. Now, I also want to say that I really appreciate all the comments, the kind w words, the well wishes, all that kind of stuff for Kendall and for us, but mostly, you know, for Kendall and she, she's aware of all of it. She reads it or I read it to her or I tell her about it or whatever. So if you have something you want to tell Kendall, Leave it down in the comments below and I will be sure that she reads it or that she is aware of it. I'll read it to her, let her know it's there or whatever. So uh, leave any of those types of messages down below. We are going to start getting everything packed up and get ready to head back up to the hospital. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little update video and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.